Hello and welcome to Geek Banter Episode 5. I'm David Baldwin. I'm Mark Selby. And this week we're geeking out about Spider-Man Homecoming. What else? The first official trailer just dropped and we wanted to talk about it. Uh, kind of go into a couple of the characters, especially the Vulture. Kind of analyze it, probe it, if you will. Um, so, first of all, Mark, you have seen the trailer, right? Yes. I didn't ask you this. Okay, good. <laughs> Um, it looks really good. What do you think? It looks really good. I right. was, I made me laugh, made me laugh a couple times, and that's rare for a Spider Man movie. Yes, but so necessary. I like that, yeah, I like that. It, it immediately shows him making fun of uh, bad guys. Yeah, uh, which is great. And uh, uh, personally, of course, you know, Spidey is going to be played by Tom Holland. And uh, so far from what we've seen, you know, the movie hasn't come out yet still, but Tom Holland is looking to be the best Spider-Man we've had so far. Yeah. Because he's he's both a great Peter Parker and a great, and a great Spidey. And Andrew Garfield didn't do too bad in the first one. Yeah, I mean, he was a good, he was a much better Spider-Man. He than, wasn't the greatest Peter. Right. He made Peter too... Hipstery. Well, that was all the, the craze back then. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so the 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 trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming just came out a couple days ago, and uh, it's blown up everywhere. I'm betting if you're listening to this, you've probably seen it, but if you haven't, we'll have the uh, you know both both the uh, U.S. trailer and the international trailer in the show notes because um, they're a little different, actually. Uh, but it showed a couple of characters that had—I don't know about you—but had me kind of scratching my head, like I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Well, I knew who definitely. They were. Yeah. Yeah, I knew who that. I were. see. I'm not. Uh, th- this movie seems to be getting into some kind of deep. Spider-Man shit. Like, Liz Allen goes way back. Yeah. And I don't know a lot of, like, the original Spider-Man stuff. No. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. No, my my knowledge is more, you know, Mary Jane. um, I'm just surprised because Luke had, like, the first seven fucking volumes of the Omnibus or whatever. I just assumed you had read them. I actually find uh, 60s Marvel to be kind of hard to read. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Everything, every sentence has an exclamation part, mark or question mark. It's not... Yeah. The only time it was really good was uh, Doctor Strange. It just made it really funny. Yeah, that makes it work. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so... I figured we could, you know, go through a few of the go through the, the characters that are being introduced, um, you know, and we'll get into Vulture, of course, and another villain that people aren't really talking about that is in this. And uh, this episode might be a little bit spoilery, but we're just talking about the backgrounds of the characters. So mm-hmm. first, uh, Liz Allen, who is being played by Laura, Laura, God damn it, Laura Harrier. <laughs> um, and she shows up in the trailer at the beginning when she walks past, and Peter's like, "Is did Liz get a new top?" And so no, you didn't know who it Liz shows Allen that you know was? he's got kind of a crush on her and stuff. Oh, because like, she got married to no, actually, Harry. I didn't. Yes, and had a kid with Harry. Really? Yeah. Okay. I have issues with him. Where uh... they had a kid. Basically, huh. Harry comes back and, like, he's trying to be normal, but the the goblin serum is just fucking with him, and he, gets, okay. he goes more and more insane throughout the series, the little, the couple comics, and, uh, like, kidnaps his son and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does, does his son become anything? I don't know if it's canon or if it was, like, off- like side shit, but I'm pretty sure his son becomes a Green Goblin in the future, like when they do the future stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Okay. But yeah, I, I personally didn't know who Liz Allen was. Um, but her her first appearance in the comics was way back in uh, Amazing Spider-Man number four, and in 1963, and she was actually you know went to high school with Peter, and was you know a supporting character. Well, at least this is what I what I'm seeing here. It looks like she comes back later, but supporting character up until 1965 when they graduate high school. They kind of went their separate ways, I guess. Yeah. But later on, I guess in 1974, she comes back, and it's revealed that she is Molten Man's stepsister. Correct. So that could be a possible connection to a, you know, a sequel. Oh, okay. So like a, a future villain. Yeah, it, because Molten Man would be fucking awesome. Fuck yeah, Molten Man's, I love Molten Man as, as a character. Yeah, and, and with Marvel, here's something, with Marvel kind of, you know, in the driver's seat now, uh, they're more willing to go deeper into uh, rogues galleries. Yeah. So far, Spider-Man movies haven't really gotten too deep into his rogues gallery, just kind of kept it safe, right. you know, with pe- people that you know, villains that people know. Uh, yeah. So, another character. I don't. I want to see. I, I want to know if you guess this one. Um, if Peter's like fat Asian friend, right? If you guess who he actually is, I know who he is just because I I looked it up, but I didn't yeah. know that that was that character. Yeah, I, I had no idea. Who I know, I know who people... the character is. I, I just didn't rec- like. He's he looks different from the, from the uh, old old comics. Yeah, and the I because he plays Ned Leeds, yeah. um, who in the comics is a white what? dude, uh, but a lot of people were thinking that he was going to be playing uh, Gan Ganke Ganke. From Ultimate Spider-Man, I don't know. Who I, I don't know who that is because yeah. I don't read Ultimate Spider-Man. I read a little bit of Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, I did too, but that was a long time ago, and not and not enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so it's almost like they're kind of combining the characters in yeah. a weird way, which is which is odd. Like almost like they wanted to do that character first and then switch it over to Ned yeah. Leeds. Um, but Ned Leeds. Interestingly, in the co- in the comics, was in the Daily Bugle, not at Peter's High School. Um, so that's a little bit of a change there. This is another old, another old know, character, character yeah. that goes way back. Yeah, and I guess he ends up becoming Hobgoblin later on. Yes, he does. I was reading about that, and it seems like another fucking <laughs> head head scratcher. It, well, yeah, you know, like, Spidey has from time to time. Right. It was. Um, I don't remember exactly what the the why he became Hobgoblin, but it was silly. Yeah. But then again, that was the '60s for you. Yeah. Uh. So maybe they might go that that route with they Ned Leeds in this. I don't it know was, if they'll it was a Hobgoblin instead of Green Goblin. That might be cool. It could be cool if they do it right, because they would have to make them more. You know, they'd have to firmly separate it from Green Goblin. Yeah. Um, but I I have I have more faith in Marvel than I do in in Sony for that kind of shit. But (laughs) yeah. (laughs) So, uh, by the way, Ned Leeds is being played by Jacob Batalon Batalone. Um, this looks like kind of a first big role for him yeah. but let's get into the big reveal of the trailer uh the vulture we finally got to see him in action this suit looks pretty fucking and, rad yeah they did a really fucking good job with it um i love that they kept the claws you know but they they updated it to make it not look too silly right you know um Vulture, of course, being played by Michael Keaton. Um, you know, kind of background on him. His name is actually Adrian Toomes. And he was a former electronics engineer, brilliant guy, who 
he created a, a harness that can give him flight and enhanced strength. And I think in the comics it was for military purposes, yeah. something like that originally. Yeah. But he gets fucked over by his business partner, Gary, Gregory Bestman. And after that, he completes his harness and then goes back and, and fucks, fucks up Bestman and becomes a, a thief and a villain. Um, basically says, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Vulture, you know, what people I don't think really know is Vulture is one of Spidey's first villains ever. Right. He showed up in fucking Amazing Spider-Man number two. Yep. And it was great because it was like Petey, you know, a little, little high schooler versus this old man. Yeah. And, and and even at oh shit. <clears throat> Fucking headphone. Even if Michael Keaton isn't uh you know, super old, like it's still you still have that, that age contrast. Yeah. You know, that's for sure. It makes him really really intimidating to a high school kid. Especially because it sounds like he's he sounded creepy. He was like, don't mess with me, I'll kill you and everyone with you love. Just fucking yeah. monotoned, like like he was telling you the weather. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ, Michael Keaton. <laughs> um, one thing I'm curious about, though, is uh, Vulture has been known to kind of steal youth. Or like steal life essence and shit, right? I don't remember that. No? I don't remember him doing that. Okay. I might be wrong. At the same time, it sounds familiar. Yeah. But I don't I don't remember him doing that. Well, see, I read online, I read a, a, a plot leak, and take this with a grain of salt because it has no source, right. but it was saying that uh, Vulture is going to have a way to, like, drain Spidey's like life force or something. Um, and it's, it's sort of like using the electrical impulses in your body to, as like a power source. And he weaponizes that. Oh yeah. Cause he, he's, I feel like they would give him kind of a equalizer. Yeah. You know, to deal with uh, Spidey's powers and stuff. Um, but, and, and I'm curious if they're going to have, some kind of falling out between uh, Adrian, you know, the Vulture, and Tony Stark. Right, because he's using if they're going to be tied together. Isn't he supposed to be using Stark tech? I, I think so. That makes sense. I'm not sure, but I mean, fucking most things in in the Marvel Cinematic Universe are tied back to Tony Stark's douchebaggery. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> which, speaking of which, um. We'll get to Shocker in a second here, but the one thing that I I have doubts about, trepidations about, is uh, it looked like Iron Man was in this a lot. It did. And that might be just the editing of the trailer. Yeah, and that's what I'm kind of hoping. Yeah. I don't want Tony to steal the show, you know? I I don't want... I want Tom to shine on his own as, as Peter... And Spider-Man needs his own well, fucking movies. It could be like the beginning of many of these movies recently where it's like they start off. The, the beginning of the movie is usually them fighting um, some kind of villain real quick. Yeah. And it could just be like a team up thing real quick before. Well, that could be where Shocker comes in because right. um, Shocker is going to be in this kind of as a secondary villain like... Um, you know, uh, Crossbones was, or, you know, um, Batrock the Leaper. Right. Took me a second there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, exactly what you were saying. The first kind of big scene. Um, but Shocker, uh, he's kind of a, a, a secondary Spidey villain. Um, he's, yeah. but kind of, not really. He's been on the Sinister Six, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, um, his name he is just is really good at what? making the same mistakes, and that's really <laughs> where he gets like I'll get you this time, Spider Man, by doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again. <laughs> I never. Maybe learned. if I have, 
If I have more sound blasts. <laughs> <laughs> so Herman Schultz is the shocker. Um, he's going to be played by Bokeem Woodbine, um, who's a, a, a black man. Uh, I don't know if if Shocker is is black in the comics or not. I don't think it matters. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I have I have noticed this this trend. It seems like in every I'm not complaining, but in every superhero movie and superhero series, they take they go okay, what side character can we turn black? <laughs> and I've noticed it's specifically black, which is. It's kind of cool that Ned Leeds, by the way, is going to be played by um, Jacob Batalon, yeah. uh, an Asian actor. Yeah. So I was thinking about this the other day. They keep taking white characters and turning them black, which is fine. But why not switch it up? Make a you know take a white character, make him fucking fucking like Native American. Yeah. Or something crazy. Just just something fucking crazy. Just something <laughs> different. Piss people off. Something crazy. Just something, something different. different. <laughs> uh. So the shocker, sorry. <laughs> uh, he's, I mean, he's basically just he creates gauntlets that can shoot concussive sound blasts, which I think but he originally go. did was for like mining purposes or construction. I don't know. I've never read. I've never read his his origin story, but I don't, I don't, I'd have to do that too. I don't remember. Yeah, but just looking him up on Wikipedia, it's saying that he's. He was just kind of smart. He was a high school dropout, and he was an inventor. And, and instead of trying to gain legit employment, he just became a burglar and Ugh. fucking just went straight to petty theft. Went straight to thugging <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> Got to hustle. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much all the extra characters they added. Um... Oh, one thing, I don't have any idea who fucking uh, Zendaya is playing. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, even on IMDb, it just says she's playing Michelle. Michelle, huh. But in the, in the trailer, she was the one that was like, you know, you guys are losers. Um, people were speculating that she's going to be Mary Jane. Apparently that is not the case. She's playing somebody named Michelle. Hmm, we'll see. I don't know then. Yeah. But, I mean, she's a big enough name that she's going to be some kind of important character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we don't really have Weekly Geek or Indie Love this episode. Just kind of wanted to throw together a quick episode on the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer here. Yeah, it's good to put something out. I mean, fucking... I mean, you're working... Oh God. I, I am working tomorrow. So much lately. You're working tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. I thought it was... Uh... Isn't it Friday night? It is Friday night. Oh, wow. Dude, we are so busy. Really? Yeah. I'm working tomorrow night, and then it's 12.30 start times all next week. I'll be Fuck, at 42 dude. hours. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it sounds like next week I might be doing a, a solo episode. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll uh, see how much rest I get. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, if you dig the show, subscribe on YouTube and Vidme to keep up with what geeks is, what's Geek this week. We're on Facebook and Tumblr, both at Geek Banter, and on Twitter, uh, at Geek underscore Banter. So we like to end the show each and every week with a quote. Uh, Mark, you found this quote, so do you want to go ahead and take this one? Sure. Did I just get rescued by two girls? Awesome! Spider-Man, Earth-616. <laughs> this has been Geek Banter, a production of the Bizarre Network. Until next time, it's not magic, it's science.